Hey, Jerry. Um, I'm going to give you a special no charge tutorial in the Google NIC tools. All you have to do is listen to this one, and you'll know all of them. Okay, Lightroom, pull it up, right click, say edit in. Go down here to Viveza too. Viveza is all you need to know. Make sure you edit a copy. Say edit. Do this on every time you use it. Don't worry about the other stuff. You'll learn it in time. But Vivesa, here's the only thing you need to remember. Add control point. Click that, and then you click somewhere on here. Now I'm detecting this. This picture is kind of all backwards. The part that you want is too dark, and the part that you don't want is too light. It's kind of reversed. So you put the control point down. All you do is click it. Now you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, saturation, structure. Think of uh, sharpening, or uh, yeah, sharpening, um, uh, shadow adjustment, warmth, red, green, blue, whatever. This is the area of influence. That's not a brush. That's you don't you, when you adjust it. It's just the area that gets adjusted. And under this little dot here, which is movable. It looks at color, it looks at tone, and it looks at structure. That's all. So anything that matches that, like a purple color, it will influence. So if I brighten it up, see, nothing happens to the green. Nothing happens to the green because it's not the same color. So you can selectively alter the color. When you're through, click anywhere. Get another one. Now I'm going to do the background. So put it in an area that you want to darken. Darken it down. The area of influence simply means that's how far you want to go with it. So I went that far with it. That's cool. Um, now if it gets the tone, it may be that these leaves have the same tone as this. Not the same color, but the same tone. So if I put there with nothing on it, see how it, how it kind of lightened it up a little bit? Or maybe you didn't. I don't know. But anyway, you can you can brighten this a little bit. And again, the area of influence, you can make it get these leaves over here. You can also move it around. And as you move it, you can you can get a little subtle change in the green. You can get it to where you like it. Let go and then just click anywhere. Maybe you want to uh, brighten up the middle of this. Let's say right on that, whatever color that is. Click on it. Maybe narrow your influence down. Brighten it up a little bit. That's kind of a yellow. Click somewhere when you got that. Click another one. You can just keep going with these. Brighten this middle up. Make sure you pull it down a little bit. Brighten that mirror middle up so you can see it a little bit better. Something like that. So um, you, you can keep going with that, but I think you get the basic idea. Um, that that this is this is changeable. So you can darken that down you can darken this down and so forth so so that you you um, make the areas that you want to have more attention make them brighter areas that you do not want to to have a, a, a attention given to you darken them you see how I can move it around I can I can change the the colors or change what the little dot is looking for and I can I can uh, actually alter it on the move get it right where you like it and let it go and then there you go so that's that is um, there's before after why is it not changing I didn't say okay. I should. You gotta say okay or the changes don't take effect. Is it still here? Yeah, still there. So say save. When you're through, say save down here at the bottom. And there's after, there's before. Of course I'm doing a two minute job on this. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is another one you just posted. Let's do the same thing. Right click. 
and let's go to edit in. Edit in Viveza 2. Viveza 2. Don't start off with the other stuff till you get this. Okay. Again, um, this is too dark and this is too bright. So click one of this. Maybe click somewhere on the on the cloud. Lower the brightening down. Take it down a notch. Area of influence is up. Now, of course, remember these these things here are light as well. So we can take that to the sky. By the way, you hit a delete and that goes away. So it will just hit it in the sky, darken the sky down a bit, and we can increase the area of influence like that. Okay, get another one, put it on a flower, and let's see where the area of influence is. Maybe there. And let's brighten the flowers a little bit. Okay, let's do do one for the for example the leaves. Let's, see, let's brighten up the leaves a little bit. Area of influence will get these over here. So I think you're, you're getting what I'm saying, but these are tailored to the individual. Oops. Now when when you put this this dot in the lower left, the area of influence slider comes over here. If I were to put it up here. And the slider's on top. So just remember the slider changes. You'll figure that out, I'm sure. Okay, brightness. Take the brightness up somewhat. Like that. Um, so um, we'll say OK and save it. So that's after. And this is before. After. Before. And like I said, this is a two minute deal, but that's what Vivesa does. That's what Nick does. Control points control everything. Uh, so, anyway, dig it. Go for it. Go crazy with it. Thank you. That'd be $100, please.